TLO, what's pop? We are on kick, K I C K dot com. Um, I did just realize how tight my shirt was. I apologize. Let me. There we go. So now you don't have to stare at man boo. Um, we are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Uh, and all around the world, because I feel like this is a around the world video. Um, this is the channel you can go look at, and uh, just in case you missed any of the lives. Uh, we do got the Patreon. Just posted Sherlock today. Uh, we're all cut up. Uh, and don't forget, we do got, you know what I'm saying, merch. For the ladies, you know, for the good couples, you know what I'm saying. Uh... And the Discord. Any of the links to this stuff is down below in the description. It's in one big link called the link tree. You click that link and everything will come up. Ten most luxurious prisons in the world. I just feel like luxurious in prison shouldn't be in the same sentence. I don't care how many prisons I see that are posh. I'll never understand it. <laughs> never. You get me? Alright, let's get into it. Man. Let's check this out, man. See what type of bullshit we uh. If you've ever struggled between choosing a life of crime or becoming the next big music sensation, then Halden Prison is the perfect place for you. Located in Norway, this any UK upcoming UK artists, you know what I'm saying, having this struggle. Because I know y'all struggle with this every day. All y'all best artists is in jail. So the, the gravitational pull of the streets is the winning. It's beating the gravitational pull of being a rock star, a pop star, a rap star. It's tough, man. Music sensation. Then Halden Prison is the perfect place for you. Located in Norway, this prison is the only prison in the entire world to come with a fully equipped recording studio. Music lessons are even offered to the prisoners. On top of all that, when prisoners aren't making their lyrical debut, they can learn- Please, God, send uh, SJ there. All the good artists that's locked up in the UK, send them there. So we could still get fire tracks, you know what I'm saying? Other skills, by taking the cooking and woodworking classes offered as well. Other activities offered at the Halden Prison are rock climbing, reading in the spacious library, playing soccer, and going to run on the jogging tracks. Once finished enjoying the activities, prisoners can retire to their individual cells, each of which are loaded with a mini fridge, flat screen televisions, toilets, and personal shower. That's crazy, you got a glass door, real tile, you know what I'm saying? Good bed. You know what I'm saying? Is this central air? The UK don't even got AC and they got central air in the jails in Norway. Central air. You know, I, they should be comfortable, but like, damn. Hosting only about a hundred inmates, this minimum security Bastoy prison located on the Bastoy Island in the middle of the Oslofjord is What? Bastoy is in the middle of the Oslofjord? Where is that? More of an all expense paid vacation retreat than a prison. And the only price you have to pay is to break a few rules. The inmates here can enjoy all sorts of attractions, such as living in small cottages as opposed to cells, sunbathing, oh, fishing, horseback riding, tennis, saunas, and assist on the prison farm. However, yo, 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 yo. You're not even in jail. You're in a, you got a cottage villa. For free. For prior to being a dream prison, Bastoy Prison was once known for being a brutal juvenile detention center. In fact, nearly a hundred years ago in 1915, a riot broke out to protest the harsh living and working conditions. The riot spiraled out of control so fast that the Norwegian government was forced to send their army to the prison in order to help guards subdue prisoners. Unfortunately, the riot provided little to so this is two prisons in Norway. no help in changing the living and working conditions, and it continued to operate until until 1970, when the prison was finally shut down, only to be reopened again in 1982 as the now luxury prison we know it as. That's talking about we know it as. I just got introduced to it. I ain't know. 
The Xinjiang prison in Beijing, China, has a bit of a stricter prerequisite in order to get in. This prison only hosts fallen political leaders or high-profile personnel. Oh, so like a white-collar prison. Built in 1958, it was originally supposed to host war criminals. But in the mid-1990s, the prison was fully renovated into a luxurious prison in order to keep the at-the-time new but now common senior officials. Prisoners here are each given large cells with personal flat-screen televisions, writing desks, sofas, personal toilets and showers, and washing machines. Bro, they got a washing machine in there? Bro, I have to go out of my house, turn right, walk down, Turn left, walk down, unlock a door with a key fob, and then pay for laundry. Prisoners are fed personalized meals depending on their age and severity of the crime, ranging from basic rice and vegetables to extravagant meals. Outside the cells, prisoners are not required to wear uniforms and are allowed to play games, read, exercise, and watch television. In southern Scotland, a privately owned prison named Her Majesty's Prison Addywell has become a learning prison. HMP Addywell, I think I heard of it. While many prisons offer their inmates classes and workshops to help build job skills, none are as dedicated as Her Majesty's Prison Addywell. Inmates here are given 40 hours a week for skill building activities and classes, aimed directly at teaching their inmates job skills and readying them for a simpler transition back into civilian. See, I salute this type of behavior. You know what I'm saying? They st it still looks like a prison, but we're just giving you the opportunity to be able to, uh, simp for a simpler transition back into civilian life. We're readying y'all. I can get behind this one. In life, inmates are each given minor control over what classes they want to attend. It's almost like returning back to school, which with all things considered isn't so bad. If you happen to get caught committing a non-violent crime in Loben, Austria, there's a slim chance you'll be spending your sentence in the appropriately named Justice Center. From the outside, this place will look more like a modern universe. Yo, I'm tired of it. See, now, this looked like, uh, remember when, um, y'all seen the Avengers? Remember when the, 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 the Tony Stark Tower got torn down and they relocated it? This is what the relocation looked like. This is, this is Tony Stark's. New lab. What is this? Diversity than a prison. Each prisoner is given their own cell with private bathrooms, flat screen television, writing desk, and even their very own kitchenette. Outside oh, of the cells, wow. inmates can enjoy a wide variety of recreational I know not sunbathing. activities like weight training, basketball, reading, table tennis, and of course, computer time. Unfortunately, 205 inmates is the maximum this prison can hold, so only the lucky few get to experience it, while the rest are stuck in a regular old prison. The lucky few get to experience experience a great prison <laughs> university of prison Even though having a toddler behind bars doesn't really sound like the best idea, the Alanjuez prison in Spain is the perfect place to raise a family, provided that one or more of the parents is currently serving a sentence there. The Alanjuez prison decided that instead of causing broken homes, it would allow families to live with their incarcerated relative. The prison is fully stocked to take care of children, having its own nursery, play place, and even a children's psychologist. 28-year-old mother and current inmate Carmen Garcia has weighed in on the situation by saying, they take good care of us. And having my child and husband with me makes me very happy. Carmen is serving a 10-year sentence for murdering her boyfriend. The only catch is that the whole family must be present during all roll calls. Who married her after she murdered her boyfriend? Like, what, like, what? How do you trust? Yeah, I'm in here. I murdered my boyfriend. You want to go on a little date? Like, no. I don't. That's the ultimate red flag. Like, nah, I'm good. Known as the party prison, the only thing keeping the San Antonio prison from becoming just another crazy rave party is the armed guards and barbed wire. this in Texas? Fire fences surrounding the fun. Pools, barbecue pits, live musicians, and even marijuana are just some of the attractions that make this penitentiary so good. Some prisoners don't want to leave. Families and overnight guests are more than encouraged to stay and enjoy their time. Overnight guests is crazy. As much fun as it seems, we're not quite. 
She in there shaking ass and drinking rum. That's crazy. Sure, these inmates are learning their lesson. Santa Ana Jail, located in California, USA, is a pay-to-stay prison, meaning that as long as you have the cash, you can stay in the luxurious Santa Ana Jail, rather than in a regular, less glamorous county jail. But it's not cheap. On the first... Yo, America is something else, I tell you. ...day, inmates must pay a $140 administration fee and $110 for each following day in the prison. That's roughly $40,000 a year. Inmates, or guests as they're referred to by staff, are given a single private cell with regular doors, are not required to wear a prison uniform, and can instead wear their normal clothes. Of course not. If you can afford 40 bands a year to be locked up, like, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna do nothing dumb in there. And are allowed to bring their own cell phones or laptops with them. Unfortunately, Wi-Fi is not provided. So pay your bill. <laughs> Over the last few years, crimes being committed by the elderly in Japan are becoming more and more frequent, to the point where Japan now has a specialized prison just for those aged 70 and above, called, huh. called Onomichi Prison. Most of the inmates here only committed minor crimes, such as shoplifting or possession of drugs. Almost all of Onomichi's elderly inmates have their own cell with personalized charts that Bro, look comfortable. That specify the inmates' dietary restrictions and daily medication needed in order to ensure they are getting proper care. They also come with a 3.6 meter attached room with tatami mat floor, a TV, a desk, a sink, and a toilet. This one seems like the right thing to do, though. Their personal belongings, mainly books or comics, are kept in a locked suitcase when they are not in their cells. The Anamichi prison is the first of many prisons specifically for the elderly that Japan has plans for. Old folks prison, nope, old folks home, don't know which one is which. Her Majesty's Prison Wandsworth, located in Wandsworth, England. is equipped with many outlets to help prisoners pass the time away. I swear I never thought I'd see an English prison on here. I've seen a Scottish one. While enjoying their sentence, such as two gyms, a sports hall, a chapel that can support up to 10 different religions, and many educational and training programs focused on helping inmates make an easier transition back into civilian life and into the working world. Inmates have even banded together with the help of the prison staff to form an award-winning radio program called Radio Wano. <laughs> okay. In fact, one of the education programs offered at Her Majesty's Prison is radio production. Alright. Yeah, I, I, you know what? Broadcasting live from Wandsworth Prison, HMP, it's yours truly, DJ.